camping tools here. Well, I just want to do this quick video on how to rig up a NATO watch band uh, on your wrist because I went to the internet myself. I just put this NATO watch band on there and I was surprised to see there's quite a few videos talking about NATO watch bands, but they're, <laughs> most of them I found were incorrect. So the first thing is, uh, let me just take the whole thing off altogether. So what you do is you slide uh, the main part of the band under the pins of your watch. You can see that there. Okay, and then what you do is you take this one, put this down here, and put this through both here like that. There, you can do another little trick with that in a minute. I'll show you that later. But the next thing is, so I'm just going to put the watch on. Hold a second. What I've done is I just put the watch on there, and I've simply put, you know, the buckle as I would normally. Now, you've got these two uh, metal loops here. So what a lot of people on YouTube are showing is this. You just put that through there like this. Okay, and they're saying if it's too long up here, what you do is you poke this back underneath of there, right, like this, and back under the other one like that. Well, that is completely wrong, and I'm going to show you why, because the purpose of the NATO watch band is not to do that. It's to do that, is to put it through both loops like this, and then back over this loop and under this one like this. Watch this here like this, and what that does is, I'll pull that tight, when you pull that tight, that locks this together here, and no matter what happens now with this band like that, the more you pull it like that, the more this locks, and that's the whole point of having two metal buckles there like that for a NATO watch strap, and this works just exactly the same way as slack lining. If you're into slack lining, you'll know this, and you're wearing a NATO watch band, of course, uh, because that will tighten up on there like that. Now, the other thing I want to show you is this. Hold a second. I'll just take this off again. With these two buckles, how do you use these? So if you just do this, uh, and it's okay to do this in this case, if you just get the watch like this, and you put it through that like that, and then you put the watch on how I just previously showed you, that's okay. But really, if you want to lock this down, the idea is to go like this, to put it through both, then back through here, right, over the top, and then like this. And then that locks, you see that there, the more you pull on that, the more that locks. Now, if you've got a really small wrist, you might want to do that because that's going to take up extra room and, and, and uh, under there. So it will look like this when the NATO watch band is properly set. Now, uh, my wrist is small, but it's not that small, so I'm not going to do that. It's not necessary, but that's one option you can have. That's why there's also two buckles on this side. Uh, let me just put the watch back on and show you. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the watch on again and just show you that. So I've done the buckle up. It goes underneath both of these outer buckles, then over the last one and back like this, and then I pull that and that locks it, okay? So here I'm just not using the facility of that. If you do, it locks it in here too, okay? It locks the watch in here too and makes a very secure uh, thing there with that. So uh, it may not be necessary, but you see my wrist is not that small, but if you had a, because I've only got this much left there and that's plenty of free end left, uh, but if you had a smaller wrist, so these things will fit a kid. You know, if you've got a, a kid can wear these NATO watch bands as well, not just an adult. I've still got one, two, three, four. You could go up smaller on a really small wrist, and that's the beauty of them. So there you go, just fitting one to my old uh, Seiko uh, Prospects Diver. It had a Mankey um, Velcro animal watch band on there, which I do like animal watch bands, but I thought I'd put a NATO strap on it. And when I went to see what people were doing with these, I realized that there are quite a number of uh, YouTube videos speaking with great authority about how to end this band there. And I'm thinking, well, that's a, they've missed the whole point of having the double buckle on there for the NATO strap. That's how it should be finished off like that, and it locks it. It cannot come undone when it's like that. The, the band, unlike this, here's my other one. You see the band just goes through both keepers, and if this keeper, uh, if it comes out, you know, it's possible to lose it, but this is a sticky band. It's made specifically for diving, and it's meant to be sticky, so it doesn't come undone really easily. But the NATO band, that is actually how it is finished off there like that. You see that there.